Hi drummers, hope you're well. Shout out to Superstar Channel members Susan and Irene and everyone else who's asked about this. This is the chorus of Thin Lizzy's version of Whiskey in the Jar. This was played on drums by Brian Downey. And the chorus goes like this. So the main thing here, I guess, is that open and close hi-hat. It's the thing people ask me about the most on this song. Uh, if you're just starting off on your drumming journey, so to speak, you haven't been playing that long, I can imagine this being the trickiest bit. If you want to perform the song and your open close hi-hat really isn't there, you might be better off leaving this out in the first case because otherwise it might just break the flow. But if you can do it, I really think it just, it sums up this version so well, doesn't it? I think the rest of the band and the audience would at that point go, yeah, that feels really cool. That feels really authentic. So I'll take you through it now real slow. I'll do the first two bars. One and two and three and four and... And a bit slower still. One and two and three and four and... And here it is again, and you can see my feet this time. One and two and three and four and. And again, a bit slower. One and two and three and four and. So the big thing is it's the idea of playing your bass drum pedal down, putting your right foot, if your right foot is going down and your left foot going up at the same time. Let's take just that second bar now and go even more slowly. One and two and three and four and one. So on beat one, you've got the count was one and two and three and four. And on beat one, you've got the closed hi-hat and the bass drum on and you're lifting up your left foot. If you're right footed, you're lifting up your hi-hat foot as you hit the bass drum. So one and. Then you've got the snare drum and the closed hi-hat on two. Now the snare drum is on two, three and four and two and three and four and are the same little two notes over and over again. So it's closed hi-hat and snare drum, open hi-hat and bass drum, two and then three and four and just the same. So once you've got through one and two and three and four and are just repeats of the same thing. One So that's that. You could, if you wanted to, only hit the hi-hat when you open it. So you could only hit the hi-hat on the ands, and that would look like this. Which you may find easier, you may not, but that's another option, I guess, which would give you broadly the same feel. First, first one, eighth notes all the way. Now only on only hitting the hi hat on the open notes. To be honest, they both work, don't they? So whichever one suits you. I think on balance, I'd probably go for the eighth notes all the way, but whatever. And what I'll do as usual on the channel members page, I'll put the full notation for all the way through the chorus, actually all eight bars of the chorus and a practice along version, which you can slow down play along with all that kind of thing. Uh, also, I've got to say, if, if you haven't done much opening and closing of the hi-hat before, this is quite a big thing to suddenly just throw in at. I would definitely recommend having a little starting at the beginning as usual and just getting started with opening and closing the hi-hat. I've got a couple of videos actually which sum up the process of getting started as I see it and then a, a video which is like a play along, uh, practice along video that gets you at home hi-hat opening and closing uh, that might be a good idea if you haven't done much of this at all might be a good idea to have a look at that stuff first i'm such a big fan of 
starting at the beginning. The problem with this sort of top-down learning, if you haven't done, if you've got lots of skills in place, that's great, you just dive into it. If you haven't, this problem with this sort of top-down, starting with the finished product learning is sometimes, depending where a drummer is at, the skills may, well, they may or may not be there, you know, so sometimes it can be a bit tricky. And that's when drummers say, oh, I'm struggling with this, I'm finding with it hard, I'm finding with it hard, I'm finding it hard. Often the skills aren't just start in place. So sometimes back to basics, build your skills from the bottom up rather than trying to come in top down is a good uh, way about it. And as ever, this is a classic case of like, if you need to slow it right down and program the moments in, like let your hands and your feet and your brain see it. This is my perspective on this anyway. What we often try and do, I do, catch myself doing this and have done it over the years. I think back to me trying to learn things. What we all do and I I'm the same, we're all the same, we've got the same kit in our head. I think we all very often try to perform things, we try to play them before we've actually learned it, before we've taught it to ourselves, before we've showed it to ourselves. So that age old advice of just going slow, showing your hands and your feet and your brain working together one moment, one event at a time, is just so powerful. The old, for me, the old cliche of neurons that fire together, they'll wire together. For me, you've got to get the moments to present the moments to your brain one after the other first. Otherwise, what are we asking our brain to do? We're asking our brain to take some leap, to come out of nowhere with it. Whereas if you lay it out for your brain, like play one note at a time, like talk yourself through it, you know, hi-hat and bass drum, open hi-hat and bass drum, close hi-hat and snare drum, open hi-hat and bass drum, and so on, like talk yourself through it if you need to. And then bit by bit, that will start to flow. But you've got to present the information in the first place. Well, I do anyway. Otherwise, how? How would your brain learn it? Like tell me how it would work. It wouldn't, would it? Uh, this is where that dangerous idea for me, anyway, the dangerous idea of talent comes in. People say, oh, I'm not, I can't do this because I'm not talented enough to do it. Well, you, have you actually shown your brain one event in, in order? It really does boil down to basics quite a lot. Um, but not to underestimate it, it's, it is a tricky little moment in the tune. Thanks for watching as always, really appreciate it. See you soon.